Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it's going to be another miniature diorama. So really, really neat. Steve has uploaded some dioramas this year in 2023, and I love all of them, and I've done most of them. I love miniatures, I love dioramas, I love to see how people's vision of a diorama will come to life and just the detail they can add to it. I've got all the pattern printed out, prepped, and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and it's going to be a miniature horse head diorama. So really really neat it's going to use layers to give it a 3d effect and there is the central layer and you see it's got a tab there and we all know what we do with tabs by taking careful measurements with our material to make sure the slots and the tabs fit snugly when the gluing process happens and all of this is one quarter inch material and steve has all of the layers numbered and with this being a layered and multi-part project i of course have a picture of the finished project from Steve's site saved to my phone so I can see how to assemble everything and now Steve graciously draws out each piece you need when you download the PDF pattern packs and you see there's the extras there that I have but I'm going to take advantage of stack cutting over on the scroll saw and stack cut some of the multi parts here and then the base is going to be made out of half inch material that I just had laying around we're going to spray paint this a nice color to complement the horse head itself and you see there is the slot at the top and Steve called for one quarter inch material for this as well but like in the other dioramas I've done this year I want the base to be a little bit more thicker and sturdier to where it won't be able to be knocked around or anything but really really neat I love horses they are beautiful and majestic animals I remember as a kid my aunt used to have them and we'd go out to the country and I would ride on them and everything but since everything is prepared let's move the camera so we can drill the few pilot holes required for this project so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling and over here on the workbench we're going to take the Seiko scrollers drill and drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting using a backer board there to prevent blowout on the back side of our material here and over at the scroll saw we'll begin by cutting the slot for the tab and I'll quickly double check it with a scrap piece of material before continuing on with the rest of the internal cuts and there's not very many in this project I think it's seven or eight total so not a lot of interior cuts at all the hardest cut I'm actually doing now is the horse's eye I'm just taking my time with it and letting the blade do the work I am using number five ultra reverse tooth blades for all the cutting on this project and they are cutting through the material exceptionally well with minimal chip out and for those curious I use the shark tooth brand scroll saw blade I think they are a quality blade and cut a lot of materials very well and again there's not very many interior cuts on this project it didn't take long to get them all done and then we can retension the blade and start releasing all the material from the waste wood if you guys would like to try this pattern, it's available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. Releasing this piece here from the waste wood and I'll set everything aside. I do love having an L-shaped workbench where I can quickly just set pieces aside and continue on. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. And with this being a layered project, I'm being as loyal as I can to the cut line when cutting everything out just to make sure everything will line up once we get to the gluing and assembly. And you see I'm using that same number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade for even the half inch material here and it's still cutting through the wood smoothly with minimal chip out. Once again this project just throws it back to my childhood and going out to my aunt's house and she would tether the horse and guide it as I rode along of course I was real small back then but just going along her pasture and out in the field near the stables I just have fond memories of that so this project really brings back those memories now that all the scroll work is done we can release all the pieces from the waste wood over here on the workbench and we kinda get a visual of what everything will look like and we will head to sanding with 180 grit cling spore sandpaper and the sander here and I'll get the front and back side of everything 
and I'll give the top of the base a little bit of a round over with the sander there. But now we can begin assembly and I'll use medium grade CA glue and activator. And I still like to use spring clamps even though it is CA glue. And consulting the photo I have saved on my phone. We will begin gluing everything together. And just keep in mind each side that glues on the central area is a mirror of each other. So you don't want to mess up during the gluing. But I let all the CA glue cure for around five minutes before taking the clamps off and proceeding with the next step of the glue up. And this will be the final glue up here and we can proceed to putting on our finishes before the final glue up. And again, I'm just lining everything up and because we were as loyal as we could be to the cut line, everything is lining up beautifully. And once I'm happy with how it's lined up, I will again use spring clamps and let that dry for around five minutes. And then after removing the clamps, I will drill a hole in the tab here to hang the horse from a hook to dry once we stain it. This will be hidden once the tab is glued into the base. And I opted to spray paint the base a nice burgundy color and you can see I'm out in the workshop before sunrise and we will stain the horse head with Minwax wood stain and I'm being sure to saturate everything and making sure everything all the nooks and crevices have a coating of the stain before taking a piece of t-shirt material and wiping off the excess and then I'll run a wire through that hole to hang it to dry and once everything was dry, it was time for final assembly, gluing the tab into the base. And then it was time for actual finishing with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And the project was complete. And here we have the completed miniature horse head diorama cut out completely on the scroll saw and he finished up amazingly well. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic pattern from your pattern catalog. Really, really neat. Of course, I love all the diorama patterns that Steve Good has offered. I've cut out his sailboat diorama, his spaceship diorama, and now the horse head diorama. And this is the most recent upload in the diorama style patterns that he has been offering and I had a lot of fun cutting him out. It only took me around 12 minutes to cut him out. He's not a very tedious pattern to cut out. It's just a multi-part pattern where you have to keep up with all the parts and know how they go once the glue up happens and that's why I always take a picture of the finished project and how it goes together and save it to my phone to when I'm out here in the workshop to go by but really really neat of course the longest time I had in this was waiting on everything to dry the Minwax wood stain the rust oleum paint and then once everything was assembled then the clear coat at the end so I've got a good few hours a good morning's work in this project here the most tedious cut on this project is the horse's eye there and because we stack cut the parts that could be stack cut we have a nice and symmetrical piece that really has nature's beauty to it of course I love seeing the horses run along the open plains and everything and it just throws it back to my childhood going out to my aunt's way out in the country when she used to live out there and being able to ride the horses and look at them and pet them and feed them carrots and everything. Of course there is a multitude of ways to finish this project as with all scroll saw projects. I just went with the standard stain paint and clear coat to show you guys in a visual of what this looks like in real life as well as the size offered in the pattern. And I think you could paint the horse if you had a horse, if you own a farm and had a horse at child Childhood. You could paint this as a tribute to them like that horse. You could do the base out of exotic woods and not have to paint or even stain anything. And the more I look at it, the more I think this would be an amazing little equestrian trophy. You know, like you could get a brass nameplate and put it here and have it as an award. Of course, you could enlarge the pattern. And with the pattern being this size, it lends itself to laser cutting as well now that they're more affordable than ever for hobby woodworkers everywhere. But I had a lot of fun in this project and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.